Kippy, garbage at the Gramercy. Hachi machi. New York City, a couple of picks left for that Friday show. Oh, yeah. Dang, if we're in the tri-state area, do yourself a favor. Mm -hmm. Grab some tickets. Come see at the Gramercy Theater. We can't wait. Yeah, it's live stand-up. Me and the big man co-headline. Then we play AYG with the crowd. You've seen the clips. It's a good time. The Army garbage coming correct. Sold out almost three shows. Some tickies left. Get them now. Let's party. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's our little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they grew up to be classy. Yeah. But they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She's upstairs finger-banging herself. <laughs> <laughs> In the goddamn living room. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman. Going to be ringing the bell <laughs> over at PS13 in Queens. Okay. Get the school day started. <laughs> okay. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, what's up, Kevin? That might be the best hoodie of all time. That fucking knocked my socks off because I pictured it immediately. Uh, what's up, everybody? Chubbing up over there. Huh? What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in, as always. Please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. You got the full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Trip cooking. It's cooking. And then speaking of cooking, we're going to have to hire another line line chef down there for the, uh, for the fudging Patreon down there. Uh, www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. Yeah. You can sign up. You get bonus episodes of AYG. You get episodes of the Barn Burner Hard Feelings. Uh Uh, You get all the bonus videos we do. We do a monthly uh, thing of On the Road. We got new guy Luke doing that. Uh A bajillion hours of content on there. You know it. That's legally binding. Check it out. Good time over there, gang. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer, Extraordinaire. The magic man makes us all look good. Works those ones, works those twos, crosses them T's, dots them I's. It's T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dudes? What yeah. up, T-Bone? I'm glad our conversations about the new YouTube terms of service have fallen upon deaf ears. <laughs> I didn't curse. I changed the fudge. You said finger banging in the first 10 seconds. Yeah, that's not a curse word. <laughs> they can't send you to their principal's it, office with that. It ain't dinner talk, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> that's getting flagged at Sunday supper. You can't drop finger banging in front of your mom. Just dubbing finger popping. <laughs> They want to know what we're talking about. Gang, we're here for a family episode. It's Uh just the boys this week. We're hanging out. We're going to be doing some Patreon questions. We're going to be goofing around. But first, Kevin Ryan with the weather. (laughs) (laughs) What's going on with you in the... uh... I don't like this, but what do you got? (laughs) I don't like this at all. The crew neck sweaters, sweatshirts you've been rocking recently. I've worn two in a week. I don't think that's, you know... It's a sweatshirt. I don't understand, man. All right, next story up. <laughs> well, I mean, what, what did you? What do, do they bother you? I, I think was... it's a pretty solid, normal. Uh, it's just wardrobe. old school. It's just very, it's very nineties. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a great example of the H Foley playbook. When you got nothing, throw your friend under the bus. <laughs> I know. Hey, I heard you've been wearing shirts. <laughs> Also, I wanted to Woo! I wanted to talk about it. Uh, works for the Republicans in the nineties. <laughs> Still works today, baby. I mean, we have a when in doubt, trash the other guy. <laughs> Drag him to. Oh, you want to throw? Uh, all right, that's what the kind of campaign it's going to be. You want to start throwing mud? I'll throw mud. Wee! Uh, I got a bad case of mud, but um, we obviously have a tra- uh, uh, show about uh, you know trash behavior, sure. trash things. Sure. Can we mention? That it's been 23 days since the live stream, and we still have cups of uh, oh, milk man. with dinner over there sitting on the Bad sitting news. on the day. Dude, there is fermented chocolate milk in all of those glasses. Man. We haven't cleaned up in here once Mm-mm. in 23 days. We got the COVID cure sitting right oh, there. Man, I can see the spores multiplying over there. Yeah. That's bad. I used Little to get- spaceships are going to be flying out of there. <laughs> that civilization is going to be more advanced than us in a couple of days. Yeah, I mean, that's next level dirtbag shit. We just have old Yoohoo and vodka. There's no sinks down here. 
I know. I mean, There's at no that point, to... those glasses, that, those, that's nice stemware. That's got to be thrown out. It's Johnny Walker black uh, uh, commemorative gear. I'm not throwing that out. Well, what, are you just going to let it sit over there and grow mold? Somebody will figure it out. <laughs> yeah, me. That's what it's going to be. We need a sink. There's a dude. There's a bathroom. I'm not washing cups in the bed. Ba- that's trash. <laughs> washing cups in the bathroom. We're gonna have to throw them out. Which I've done every move I've ever done. I've just tossed all the dirty dishes. Oh yeah. All the dude pots with like at the house. Yeah. You did any move? Oh, a move. Forget yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll throw something out if it gets too too grody. Burn the place to the ground. If it, if I even mid 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 lease, if something gets too nasty, and I go, why the fuck are we saving it? You, throw it out, buy a new one on Amazon, eight bucks, whatever it is. You guys ever have to boil water when you were a kid? You ever to get drink? Yeah. No, I didn't <laughs> grow up in Guam. What are you talking about? Boil water to drink? What you, year did you grow up? You never had something go happen with the neighborhood or something? Boil water for a couple of days? No, dude, we didn't live on the Oregon Trail. Yeah, what are you talking about? We did. Not Boiling that long water. ago. Yeah. You got a well? No. Are you using crick water? What do you got? <laughs> what are you working with? What are you boiling, dude? That's not smooth. What's going on? Yeah, I remember we had to. I think my mom had to do it recently where they were like, stay away from the water for a couple of days or boil it. Some main broke or something like that. I, that, I mean, an incident, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember as a kid, we had to do that for a couple of days. Something was going on. And I no. remember it was something with the bathroom. I remember a buddy of mine growing up had well issues. Where he was growing up, mm-hmm. and uh, which, which we, they say is good which water. We obviously found out is naturally purified through the limestone or whatever that it's in. Um, yeah, until a dead squirrel falls in there. And it got close up the well. <laughs> well went that. bad. Uh, I'm a city main kind of guy. <laughs> Tap me into a heavy bike main. I don't want That's squirrel what, teeth in my <laughs> iced tea. Yeah, dude. Run something through some filters for me. I don't like it. <laughs> I've been leaning on just just the straight water in the house now. The, the Brit is a pain in the ass, dude. Buddy, I'm telling you, I upgraded my life. I was thinking about it today. I, I got the five-gallon jugs. They drop it off. You know, my, my wife likes sparkling. I get her uh, two cases of Pellegrino, and that's what we do. There's, you know, those Europeans, they like the bubbles. Yeah, they do. I haven't drank a glass of water in no joke over a month. That's crazy. What are you talking about? I just drink seltzer. Uh, that's water. That's what I say. That's rich guy water. That's what that is. Club soda's all right. I'm not sure the difference between seltzer, club soda, and tonic. One has a little salt in it. What one? Seltzer. Really? Yep. Huh. And then what's tonic? Has quinine in it. Whoa. Uh. Well went bad or what happened? <laughs> I don't know, but I loved tonic water when I was a kid. Man, I, I would do vodka tonics in college. Oh, brutal. Well, well vodka. Tonic. That's what my brother was drinking. I thought, so I started drinking it. Man, talk about a hang. I was on G&T's for a little bit. Gin and tonic. G and T's and cools I was smoking. What? <laughs> Are you a jazz musician? G- gin and tonics and cools? Well, he gin bought and- a Cadillac. Yeah. Gin and tonics and cools. For a couple weeks in college, you were getting after it. Oh, that's really trying to find an identity in college. That's really trying to figure out who you are. You got a fedora on, you're playing the sax. Yo, gin sucks, tonic sucks, but together it's real nice. Yeah, I don't Hangover know. City, though. <sighs> No good. Gin. Uh, come on, man. What are you doing? That almost brought down the British Empire. <laughs> no shit. Bunch yeah. of waterheads. Can't be drinking that shit. Um, shit. What was I going to say? Did you Google? Did you fact check me on the seltzer? Uh, seltzer versus club soda. Club soda has the addition of potassium bicarbonate and potassium sulfate in the water. Yeah, that's the. Did you guys drink that growing up? I mean, we only had it for mixers and dry drunks. That's what we had. What tonic or club soda? There was always a tonic in that. Yeah, there was a the tonic. little glass bangers we had left over from you know. Yeah, there was a Christmas there, or couple whatever. of Seagrams for in Uncle there. Jimmy who to get after it. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Jimmy loved the seltzer. <laughs> well, too much if you know what I mean. <laughs> now we had those, but I remember coming in. Fucking looking through all the cabinets, looking through the refrigerator, nothing to drink. And it was either chug and milk, which I was okay with. Love that. Which did quench your thirst. Oh, yeah. Fills you, too. Ooh, so good. It's like a meal and a drink. Or you'd find an old bottle of tonic water in the back that was uh, that was flat. Just crush that. Just going in, it's okay. There's, there's a metallic aftertaste afterwards that would set off a nine-year-old <laughs> palate. Yeah. Like a smoke alarm. Nah, drinking that's like snake bite shots. Dude. They fucking... <laughs> those the, those those bite back those tonic waters. They got a little bit of a bite to them. Ooh, I don't fuck. You know what my wife's been doing? She's been ordering. She's on a. She does raw milk. 
Do we really? She orders it from Amish people. She got it. Yeah, she got her hand. I don't know if I'm legally allowed to. It's illegal in New York. Yeah, it's fucking. Whoa, dump it, Debo. That's dicey. That's what Carnivore MD is always talking about. Raw milk. Yeah, he makes a lot of sense, man. Keeps it tight too. Tight Uh little body on that guy. Yeah. Um, I looked into raw milk. Yeah, you have to go to Jersey to get it, and you you get the hookup from the Amish. Um, which I don't trust those Amish. Nobody with that bad of a haircut. <laughs> um, get out of here. Buddy, what are you doing? Grab a mirror. What the fuck is this all about? Walking around judging me. They always got they all they always look like they're looking you up and down like you're on your way to hell. Buddy, hit a hit a haircut or your fucking sport cuts or something. Great clips. You look like a fucking asshole. Grab a pair of clippers, will you? <laughs> I mean, you got you, you shear the sheep. Why don't you run? Why don't you do a flyby on that fucking? Throw Seamus on the bike and charge that thing up. Do something. <laughs> fucking. Why don't you do a Passover on those bangs, man? <laughs> it's fucking 2023. You're a 24 year old man with bangs. What are we doing? Ah, uh, there's a there, there's a dice being rolled with that though. With what? With the with the. Uh, raw milk. It's, oh, it's better for you, but then I don't like the fact that it's botulism in the, or something. I don't like, that. like the fact it's in the house. I don't like it. Really? It's, if it's a, uh, what are we doing? What'd she say? How it tastes? I don't. She got something else. There's another concoction that they make that. Well, she, there, there's she there, that made her gag. There's low heat pasteurized. I don't know. Cream top milk? No, no. Cream this isn't milks. milk. This is more like a yogurt. Kefir. Yes. Yeah. Shafir, Ari, Ari Kafir. <laughs> she got a couple. Of, Ari Shafir's Kafir. She got a couple of. Tubes Ari, of, call me. She got a couple of tubes of that. It made her gag, so she gave it to the dog. It made him puke in the living room. So I'm like, this. I'll get this Amish shit out of my house. So you can't get a dog yogurt. <laughs> no, it's good for him. Apparently, it's good for the microbiome or some shit. I don't know. What's dude. the scoop, Doc? Uh, raw milk is milk that has not been pasteurized to kill harmful bacteria. Raw milk can carry harmful germs such as Campylobacter. <laughs> I barely know her. What are you talking about? <laughs> Cryptosporidium. I'm a bit ma- Bitcoin man. E. coli, Listeria, Brucella, and Salmonella. Yeah, All that's right. if like the dirty finger. That's not the milk itself. I think that's how it's processed. And I think the reason why they started pasteurizing it was because Louis Pasteur. They were they, their oh, hands were high. dirty. They ain't no hand sanitizer. But if it's done, in I don't a, think the Amish are playing fucking. You know, I they're out there they with do. the dung beetle and stuff. <laughs> I think they do. I think you have to get to it pretty quick. The shelf life ain't great. It's like a carnival goldfish. You got to get that in you quick. We got tagged in a new Bev that seems reckless. What? There's the, the Monster Energy is releasing their alcoholic beverage. Yeah. Oh, I know. Let's go. I smell a new sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> I that's wish. what I'm talking about. Monster, Monster Ener- hit me up. Monster Energy drink, raw milk, and vodka. <laughs> Let's package it all together. They don't check your ID. They just look for neck tattoos. Yeah. You haven't taken a sip of this milk? You're fucking nuts. Really? No. Not dr- I'm not drinking someone who's hand delivered by a guy with a bad haircut. <laughs> all right. Do you have to shake it up? I don't know, man. I I I, I don't even like going in the fridge anymore. I want to try. All right. It. I'm just scared. Well, come over. You two can throow up together. That's right, right from the titty. Sip it on some milk tartare. <laughs> nah. Uh, <laughs> I like the pasteurized, but you're not getting as good. It's got really good stuff in it, really good for you. Yeah. According to that guy. <laughs> yeah, according to Yeah, all right. I don't know, man. I don't like it. Um, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't think, you know, she doesn't like all the things I do. Raw I don't. Milk. Th- I don't think 19 Coors Lights are any better than raw milk. So I didn't know you were scoring it. Yeah. What were they getting you for? I don't Probably know. Probably ain't cheap. I don't know. They ship it up from PA or something. Huh. Whole milk. Allegedly, or, they whole, do that. Whole Foods has has uh, low has low heat pasteurized, which is pretty good, apparently. Uh, I don't know. I'm a fucking whole milk. What about goat's, heavy milk? Goat's, goat's, cap, all right? goat's milk is pretty good. Oh, uh-uh. No. What are we talking about? <laughs> Goat cheese, maybe, on a salad. That's got a little must to it, though. Oh, man. man. Sometimes you get a cheese. <laughs> I remember the first time I had that shit. I almost just fucking shot the block up. Dude. The fuck it? Yeah, what are you putting in your cheddar, dude? <laughs> I know. That's rough. It's got hair in it and stuff. Oh. I don't, I don't trust goats what either. What are we doing? Cheddar all day. That just do that. I don't trust goats. I don't like goats. They're eyes. The fuck is and they that? Ram you real quick. Do you ever see those videos of the guy going in to feed them and get they get fucking they run up on you like the bloods in the crypts? Those guys do. They don't play around. 
<laughs> you gotta keep your head on a swivel if you're in a goat pen. <laughs> Pretend like they're broke down. You stop. They rob you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get in the car. And drive. Did you ever see them? They have like the, you know they they pass out or whatever. Yeah. yeah that's playing dead. They yeah. wait till you come over. <laughs> yeah. They fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Pop up with some nickel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> come up off that feed, pussy. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't like the way their eyes are shaped. It's real devilish, real demon. Yeah. Well, that isn't like the goat's head is like on the you know. Yeah, I don't like that guy. The yellow kid, the rat king or whatever. He was big into goat heads. I don't mm. yeah. Oh, just give me reg, r- fucking straight up milk if it's I'm doing it. It's not good for you. What? The regular yeah, stuff, whatever, the pasteurized. I'm cranking heaters. You gotta like go raw. Out of, like, they're, like they're illegal, <laughs> all right? Milk ain't my problem. Alcohol. Get raw heaters from the Amish? <laughs> <laughs> These aren't stepped on. <laughs> These are illegal in New York. Don't tell no one I got them. A couple of raw, raw stingers. <laughs> Cord cob pipe. <laughs> <laughs> got to meet a guy in a back alley. Good uh, stuff. All right, let's quit screwing squid, around here. Quit screwing around here. We got, we got a hot show we got to do. Gang, it's a family episode, as you know. When you sign up for the old Patreon there, you get a question read on the air. Uh-huh. Uh, this one's from Gary Abusive. Uh, okay. I don't know if that's his government name. This is in the world of one of ours, but I've never... This is a different take on it, which is very good, which might make the circulation. This is a good one. $10, homie, never have on red. Are you garbage if your house has been on the news? <laughs> That's tough, dude. If your house has been on the news for something, like an explosion or, you know, it ain't good. A sinkhole or something? <laughs> Trampoline accident? Yeah, when the earth eats your house, oh, bro. Man. Sinkholes are fucking dude, scary. That happened in West Philly on the boulevard in like the 80s. It, dude, it just took like three whole blocks and we would drive by. You could just see them. They'd be like three, four feet in the ground. There was a sinkhole out in front of the house that I lived on on Dittmar's. Really? Right as I was That mo- happens in New York and right you just got to drive around there. Right as I was moving out, I walked out and I'm like, what the fuck? And I looked and I could like see. Like a hole, mm-hmm. and I'm like, "Yo, that ain't good." They're like, "Ah, oh, don't worry about it." The next day, it was like it was like a fucking like a like a in ground swimming pool. Yeah, they don't. I remember that. I think. Yeah, yeah. They don't now. That and uh, what you call it? Um, ma- manhole covers blowing up. Uh, that happened on Forty Second Street not too long after nine eleven. Scared the shit out of everybody. Yeah, I think killed one poor guy that was right over top of it. I flicked a steam. I flicked a Bernie the other day, and it rolled and dropped down the hole. They say you're not supposed to do that. What flick Bernies in the uh, in Come manhole covers or I wasn't. I mean, I didn't or sewer grates. I don't do it on purpose. I typically whatever the wind caught it, and she you know I caught a hanger, dog leg left, and she she banged the left and went down that hole in the manhole. Co- and in my head, I was like, that could fucking run some methane gas. That'll fucking That'll wake up the block. <laughs> Kaboom. Uh, great question. Yeah, though. it's good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is from Jennifer. $10 home and never have one read. Is it garbage if you have to put the parental control lock on QVC so your wife can't order anything off the TV? Man. Oh, man. Talk about getting They're still it. getting you? I get, man, they're probably better than ever. They're marketers. They've learned. It's not like the QVC from the 80s. These people are sharp now. It's like they got the algorithm figured out. But who's watching that? How old is this guy? His wife's watching QVC. QVC is huge. Lori from Shark Tank, QVC queen. That probably does like $10 billion a year. Is she the the hot one? Yeah. Yeah, They all are. Shout out to Barb, too. I don't know Barb. The old broad? Barbara Corcoran. Yeah. The queen of New York City real estate. Yeah. Uh Tight little keister. Yeah, Lori's all right. They're all all right. Would I have a shot with her? Lori? Yeah. Nah, I pick you as a Mr. Wonderful kind of guy. All right. <laughs> Take me out to a nice dinner? And in perpetuity deal, too. He gets you. That guy's always taking points on the back end. He goes, you owe me $50 a unit forever. <laughs> Who's your favorite shark? Uh, it's funny you mention that because I never fucked with that show. Oh, I I've seen every one about ten times. When I was when it was when it was on, I don't even know when it was on. I think it's bigger now than it's ever been. Is it, they don't still make it, do they? Oh yeah. Oh, they it's do. It's hotter than ever. Is it always on MSNBC or whatever it is? No, they're all reruns. Oh, they are. I think the new ones are on NB- a- NBC proper. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I I watch it on MSNBC. Yeah, um, the reruns. I don't know what's going on. I can't tell when it is or who, who's new or whatever. My favorite shark would be yeah, probably Mr. 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 Fantastic. Mr. Wonderful. Mr. Wonderful. Mr. Fan- was he a wrestler? 
elbow drop. Yeah, he's all right. But they're all cool as shit. They're not dicks. I thought they were going to be more I, dicks. I, I, I not... like Cuban. Cuban can Cuban's be a dick. Cuban's all right. He can be a dick, though. He's a he, businessman. He's, his, he's got a big ego, and they call him out for it. He tells people to shut up. Try sell him, Try to come out and pitch vitamins to him. He, he's got your number. That's fake science, he screams at people. He don't, he don't play that shit. What do you think QVC generated in one year, revenue-wise? $8 billion. Uh, oh, yeah. $8 two, billion. $2 billion. Fourteen point two Billy. Look yeah, at that. That's, that's what I'm saying, dude. They move unis. Yeah, you got a stranglehold in the Midwest. Uh, yeah. They must. Nah, everybody's buying that shit, dude. Everyone. Who's sitting there watching TV like that? They got good prodi. I'm telling you, that. dude. Okay, let's talk about that Adam and Eve baby. Ooh-wee, I got a hard on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? One yeah. of our favorite sponsors here on the show. And let's be honest, gang. Valentine's Day is coming up. Uh, yeah. I'm sure the spark has gone down a little bit. You yeah. know what cures that? What? Sticking something up your butt. Uh-huh. Or putting your Peter in something, whatever you want to do. Nothing wrong with it. Uh-huh. Uh, our listeners get 50% off almost any item. Just use the code GARBAGE at checkout. You'll get 50% off plus free shipping. That's 50% off an adventurous new toy, a slippery lube, or almost anything else you desire to cram in your b hole. Uh, it's also, it's great. They send it non Send her out with the girlfriends. Have a good time by yourself. Yeah, you know, start plugging away on yourself. I don't care what you do. Hey, it's 2023. I look the other way. Whatever, whatever, you know. Uh, no matter how big your package ends up being, it will be sent discreetly and for free. To have a happy Valentine's Day, go to adamandeve.com, select any one item, and use the code GARBAGE. This is an exclusive offer, so be sure to support the show and use code GARBAGE to get 50% off at 100% free shipping. Go to adamandeve.com right now. Do it. Lube it up. Kip, I'm going to tell you about Liquid IV. I love Liquid IV. I'm going to tell you about a personal experience that I had recently. Okay. 103 degree temperature, 24 hour bug, knocked me out. You know what I was sucking down the whole time that got me through it? I'm telling you right now. Scotch and sodas. <laughs> <laughs> Liquid IV, baby. Yeah, man. Had that in my water bottle. I'm telling you, it was like mother's milk the whole time. Kept me hydrated. Kept me going. I was dreaming about it when I was falling asleep. Yeah. I can't recommend enough. If you had a rough night or you're working out, do yourself a favor. Get on that liquid IV. Save my life. Yeah. Use it uh, first thing in the morning before a workout or on long flights. It's free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Liquid IV contains three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. And it's, Plus, it tastes delicious. It's goddamn delicious. Uh, grab your local IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com. Use the code GARBAGE at checkout. Support the guys that support the show. Yeah, there you go. That's twenty percent off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using the promo code Garbage. At yeah, one more time, get a pen, get a pencil, write it down. LiquidIV.com. Do it. Yeah. Let's see. This one's from. Oh, this is a killer name. Burger Wolf sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's you, all right. You need a guy take it out. You call a burger. Oh, wolf. dude. The burger, too. I feel like that's just Foley's fucking alter ego. <laughs> yeah. What are we going to do with all this ground beef? <laughs> Call the burger wolf. <laughs> next, time we, next time we go out to dinner, Foley's like, table for four under burger wolf, please. <laughs> ah, Mr. Burger Wolf, right this way. <laughs> Full moon out tonight. The burger wolf will get you. <laughs> uh, shout out to the burger You have to wolf. squirt him with mustard and ketchup to keep him <laughs> <Yeah>. away. <laughs> You got to wear a necklace of grilled onions. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll get you. Are we done with this? All right. <laughs> I had a couple more. I'm not sleeping. Pickle spears. Could have went there. <laughs> you could have. I, <laughs> I wouldn't have recommended it. <laughs> not every joke has to be made. Right. That joke sucked, and for that reason, I'm out. You got to kill him with silver dollar pancakes. <laughs> Come on. Can I say this? Come on. Can I give you this? What? The silver dollar pancake can shuck my pee-pee. They suck, man. They're just a little guy, They right? suck. No. They suck. I want flapjacks. Three fat ones. Push, push, push. Mm-hmm. Silver dollar, get out of here. Yeah, I never got that. We had them. We had the Aunt Jemima frozen ones one time. Oh, they ain't bad. That ain't good. They're all, no, those... They, dude, those freezer burn instantly, <laughs> those things. <laughs> those got a freezer life of about 13 hours. Those started popping. They pop- come home from the store freezer burn. They started popping around the Foley household, I would you say. You got 38 of them. It's mid, stupid. Mid-2000s when 
my dad was dropping my cousins off at school. When they my, hit, hit, their mom would drop them off at the house because she had to be, she was a teacher, she had to be in school early, mm-hmm. so the boys would come over. They got a little bit better than what we had as a kid. It was always just straight egos for us. Now, but I, Patty used to, she'd get the frozen. You ever had the frozen French toast? Yeah, that wasn't. We were I, that, what? That was European dog. Oh man, uh, no French toast. My stepmom made French toast for the first time in house. That I could. That was all right. The, the you gotta have French stuff. toast made at home. I think the I never th- had a good French toast in any restaurant I've ever been to in my life. I think I didn't like French toast because really, uh, no, like the frozen stuff because oh. they served it at school. Like, either in the morning or lunch, and it was, like, gray. And I remember taking – I was trying to cut it with a fucking plastic fork. That won't happen. And <laughs> fucking – I was just like, yo, fuck this shit. And then right away, it was just turned off. But I remember I caught a bunch of shit as a wee buck. I was a big ego man, right? Sure. It's, we all were. It's like a roll for breakfast. Yeah. You know I mean, it's as, close you can get to, it's as close you can get to a buttered roll. They were all right. Now, though, I remember catching a lot of shade – I believe at a buddy's house, a lot of heat in the morning because I came down and I was like, what do you want, cereal? We got Eggos or whatever. You know, nice little fucking Saturday morning thing with the mom or whatever. Sure. I caught a lot of shit because I buttered my Eggo waffles. Is that normal? Yeah. Right? I I remember. What? I don't know. They made me feel weird. Like they just went straight up. That's crazy. I know. That's, I was like, what else are you doing? It's a you pancake. Soften it's that a waffle. Up. You got to fucking, you got to yeah. lather, dather, then add the syrup. Oh, man, those bites with the chunks of butter <laughs> not melted and the syrup. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's Talk, butter- about, talk about cherry, cherry, cherry. It's like dude. having waffles on the rocks. <laughs> oh, it's all right, <laughs> dude, dude. That's my favorite. We were using margarine, too, back in the day, so it spread real nice. Shout out to Promise. Man. Yeah, it's butter or peanut butter if you're nasty. Ew. That's crazy. I don't think peanut I've ever done butter. that. Dude, I remember coming home. It's from, amazing. Coming home from school, you know, whatever, 13 years old, whatever, however old, young, fat kid. No food in the house. Mom ain't going to be home for about, maybe I, she was working third shift till fucking 12.45 at night. So I had the whole, I had to figure out after school snack and din din on my own. Sure. Man, and crushing about four, five, six fucking Eggo waffles. Dude, I was just eating them like they were fucking tortilla chips. Just fucking sitting there, have a screamer cold Coke from the garage and just fucking biting them. They were, I, I, Toast them and put them in a paper towel and just sit there and fucking crush them, dude. They were so good. <laughs> Straight up, plain Jane. Feel the texture in your mouth. You know, it had a good mouth feel. They're all right. I wasn't too impressed with Belgium waffles when I first when I first when they first came across the radar with the yeah. whipped cream and the fruit. Get the fuck out of here. Give me a slice of butt butt on yeah, there. This is America, baby. Yeah. Um And wait, they last the- for about two seconds. What? The Belgium, you gotta get them quick. You got to eat them in the kitchen on the way out to the table. Yeah. Now, I, I'm not a. Well, we had a waffle maker at one point. We had that grilled cheese maker at one point. The equity sandwich maker. Yeah. That's what we had. My it cousin did. Kelly used to bang out ham and cheese in them. Yeah, Whew, they were like an right. artist. I just remember it seemed like such a process. Mom didn't like doing it. No. Nah. Yeah, we weren't allowed to handle it type thing. We were real young. She was like, nah. Was probably a QVC purchase. Yeah, um, but yeah back, that makes sense. This one's uh, back to Burger Wolf. Do you own any of the Four Dummies books? <laughs> <laughs> like... Auto mechanic, you know, how to fix a car for dummies, no. how to, you know, coding for dummies, which is a, for a while, that was a dead giveaway. You were an idiot. I thought those were it. Waldos, to be honest with you. What? It's the same dude on the cover. It's a, uh, it's a guy that looks like Waldo. Sure. I see what you're saying yeah. a little bit. I don't think we ever had a, that was no. like, they were, we've talked about this before. That was a like cliff notes to me. They were Nobody like, in my family read anything ever. My brother Mm-mm. read, Patty and Terry did not read. My mom would read like, what are they? Those John Grisham not like maybe back in the, like those thick Ro- ones. Romance, but they no like romance the murder. Novels. Angela's Ashes, I remember, was floating around for a long time. Every Irish dirtbag read that. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> that and the Diary of a Geisha, whatever it was called. <laughs> no, Is that? No, yeah, what was so. the name of that book? I think it's Diary of a Geisha. It's Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> what are you talking on? Oh, real freaky. Naughty. Memoirs of a Geisha. Memoirs of a Geisha. Yeah. <laughs> Angela's that that and the secret was floating around. Oh, that's devil's play for us. The secret, you're nuts. <laughs> Given to the universe, this is a oh, disgrace. The odd name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Will you get on the winning team? Will you? <laughs> oh, yeah, Ooh, boys are putting up numbers. <laughs> um, Let's go. Yeah, no, we never no books, no encyclopedias. There might have been. There was a real old dictionary floating around for a while. We had encyclopedias. 
Uh, I, I the only book I do remember ever buying and liking from like the school book uh, fair, right? They would have like the book fair. You sure. get like a you get twenty bucks or ten bucks or whatever. Go buy a book or two for the year. I bought uh, the Guinness Book of World Records. That's not old, bad, old man. As, like, That's a eight, good time as an eight year old. The two fat guys on the motorcycles. The tall guy. Yeah. Fucking uh, just annoying my mom with facts. I was like that kid in Jerry Maguire. Just fucking dropping Snapple facts on you all day. I don't know whose they were, but we had a pretty sizable National Geographic collection. Stealing from the dentist, probably. No, I don't know who the fuck collected them. Because I don't ever remember seeing them build up or getting delivered. I just remember one time just finding a box of them in a closet somewhere. Couple of racy picks in there. Yeah, I remember seeing a set of cans. They do it for you. It worked. Not these that I saw. Pre-internet. Dude, this set of cans. Some knee knockers? Man, heavy, heavy nip. Heavy bike nips on them. Some tummy titties. Oh, <laughs> man. These Talk about a burger wolf. Yikes. Chick with a basket on her head? Man. <laughs> man it was, you gotta do what you got to do. Nah, these were t- I remember looking at them in. <laughs> they were. I mean, the highlights was already figured out, so I had no reading. So I grabbed the National Geo. <laughs> a little kippy with his putting his glasses on to crack the highlights. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing. It was a fucking word search. Somebody had all circled all the words. Talking already. about Highlights Magazine. Yeah, I'm talking about Highlights yeah, Magazine. Yeah, that was my shit. That was my Playboy back in the day. Oh man, Goofus was- and Gallant was all right. I was on a bus one time with a crackhead next to me with a word find circle and nonsense. <laughs> That's a good time. Ah, got another one, boss. <laughs> it's like Lloyd Braun selling computers. It's on her arm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. Synchronized sips right there. I know. We get caught on that a lot. Yeah. People pull the people pull it out, say we're in the matrix, just be sip at the same time and go, uh, afterwards. <laughs> Um, let's see here. This is from Mickey. Do you have any open containers in the fridge currently? Open containers? Like something without a lid, I presume. Never. I don't even have a piece of eggplant in there. That I told her, you can't do that. And plus, she puts back open cans sometimes. That's fucked. Dude, I, I used to live with a buddy who did that. He'd I like tell her, you're going to get botulism. Half a soda and then come no, back No, no, I'm talking about treat. cans of food. I'll do that from time to no, time. No, you can't do that. I, I'll she t- does it with tomato paste and does it with refried refried beans. I do. I like, put that shit in a fucking Tupperware. Tupperware, you can even throw. You're gonna some give aluminum, me TB. Some aluminum. Be like foil. Doc Holiday staggering around the apartment. Uh, well, I'll get, I'll get, I get lazy with the fridge, and to the point where it's like, I get this is, you know. We're pretty we're pretty jammed up at the moment. I caught her keeping onions out the other day after cutting them. I like, gotta put that in the fridge. No, it's fine. Put it in the fridge. Yeah, well, I, I mean, you know, obviously my, my broads from the, uh, from Europe, if it's European, they Old got school. a, they got a different, me, everything went in the fridge growing up. Everything. Everything goes, every single Except for the thing, butter. Everything went in the, I mean, everything went in the fridge for us. Butter and the syrup. And she leaves stuff out, and I'm like, what are you doing? You're going to die to keep this shit out there. Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't like any of that. Give me coal. Give it to give it to me coal. Leaving a sandwich out for a little while. Let everything That's soak a together. That's different, right. obviously. I'm talking half about a, it. half a pie of Domino's or something. That, that gets better with time. You know yeah. what I mean? Let the air hit. Oh, yeah. You got to let the air hit. Let that cheese congeal a bit. Mm. Toby, I just, you're I disagree. Wrong. You got you to chuck it in the fridge. No. 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 Ruin it. Uh-huh. No. You're, you you put it, it in at night. You, then when you go to bed. You know, you know the so first rats don't get shout it. out to my boy, Pat. Uh, his parents, the first time I ever seen it done was... Leave the pie in the box in the oven. Sure. Yeah. For storage. Of Not course. hot. And then you just go, oh, we got pizza right here. Man, munching on a couple slices from Aldo's. Good night. <laughs> also, there's, there used to be this thing. We used to call it the, the plague. Whereas there was this, you know, this pizza place that we always went to. And there would be times, I don't know, if, I don't know what it was, it was like 30, 40 years ago, whatever. You would, you'd have a slice and then... You know, someone, if there was like five of y'all having a slice, somebody at some point, got, you'd be out skating or riding bikes or in the woods smoking cigs or whatever. Not nowhere near a bathroom. You get hit with the plague. We <laughs> called it the Aldo's plague, dude. And this thing crept up and hit hit you like a ton of bricks where you were peeing out of your butt. Darer. Oh, man. And you would just, so you would feel it and you would see it in their eyes. Go, I go back to your house, man. And you'd fucking... Try to sprint as far as you can get. I caught a little bit of food poisoning last week. I'm not really sure where it came from. I got a little taste of something. Whew, man, brutal. <laughs> Just brutal. I don't mind it. It's kind of cleansing a little sure. bit. Sure. You know, 
little bit of liquid IV. Sure. Straighten you out a little bit. Yeah, clear my head. You know what I mean? Man. Get I all cr- the bad juju out of my body. I crushed one of those the other day. Uh, we went out to dinner and I had a drink or two. So maybe like a week or so ago. Man, I was dying when I woke up. <laughs> Hit me with a thermos of that. <sighs> Laying there on my side. Just <clears throat> sucking it out. <sighs> right back to night night land. <laughs> Oh, barely skipped it. You on you on your side looking for wives. I've seen a I've seen a semblance of that. It ain't a great look. Man. Um all right, let's see this one's from Chad. Is it garbage to own a shopping cart? Ours came with the house. That's wild. Oh man. What yeah. kind of house did you buy that came with a shopping cart? That's what I want to know. Yeah. It's half a porch. That ain't good. That's a bad but- look. Probably very beneficial to have around the house. Utility wise. What are you doing? You can't put that on the grass. What do you mean? No, I'm saying if you're like, I don't, I mean, I don't know the layout of the house. I doubt it's a fucking an apartment. I'm just saying if you got to, you know, moving stuff from the house to the garage, move, it's got to be beneficial for sure. You know? It's a wheelbarrow. It's a grill. Yeah, it's everything. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's a toy for the kids. So ram- ride it down a hill. Ramming vehicle to get inside the front door when she locks you out. Yeah. Because got- she's gonna. I'm on the side of it's probably benefit. It's a probably a decent tool around the house from time to if time. You have a shopping cart in your house. You're on the first name basis with the local Smokies. They pull up and they go, Greg, <laughs> Greg, what are you doing with the cart? Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind it. I got to be honest with you. It seems all right. That's a tough look, dude. Um, this one's from Nick. Never have one red. Ten dollar. Hey, me. Is it garbage to call a rotisserie chicken a bachelor's handbag? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you do feel dainty when you're carrying it. You feel you feel a little fancy. You know what I mean. You're walking around because you got to be gentle with her too, so she don't leak on. I you. told you the one that we used to get when I was a kid from this place called Country Butcher came in a bag. It came in a foil bag, like the way that's the, big now though. Like the way the Popeyes chicken yeah, yeah, sandwiches yeah, yeah. come used to come in one of those. Mm-hmm. Man, just fucking rip that thing open. Did you see the one that somebody Piping tagged us up. in from? Uh, what's the one in Boston? Not stop and shop market basket. Market basket. With the tier two of them on the thing? Yeah. No, it was just one wrapped in like a thing that you would, they would wrap like a T-bone steak in. Like it was in one of those boats. Oh, yeah. And then a dude, a chicken wrapped in that. Everybody was hitting me. I was like, dude, that's going to leak, man. That ain't no good. You need the, the airtight dome on it, which I agree with, dude. That was, dude, that would have been melting that fucking, that ain't good. A lot of people were backing me up on the, the, the meat on the bottom. That's called the oyster. Meat on the bottom? Uh-oh. No. Yeah, That's the... called an old kitchen sponge to me. It's Give me the co- white meat. It's called also, the... nobody believed that you've never eaten a whole rotisserie chicken either. People were fucking in my DMs like, who does he think he is? I haven't, man. Mm-hmm. I've never crushed a whole bird. Sure. Honestly. I believe you. I had duck the other day. That was awesome. Uh, that's the fifth time you've told me that today. I don't, that you, I don't know what response you keep looking for. It was that good. Peking. I had duck. I go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the Peking Duck House in China. Uh huh. <sighs> China? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. When would you get back? They turned me. <laughs> Chinatown. I'm sorry. This guy go all the way to China for a free meal. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking talk about a goddamn turncoat. I <laughs> trust you. Get, get you for a fucking Bring the slurpee. classified documents and we'll straighten you out. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of shumai oh, and I'm in. Oh, man. No, we were, <laughs> we were in Chinatown. <laughs> Walked into Chinese New Year. Didn't even realize it. Mm-hmm. Just going down there to get something to eat. That's the thing that happens in New York, like walking somewhere and you realize there's a part and you're like, oh, no, man, this could jam me up for two, three days. Man, I hit the panic button real quick. (laughs) Dragon chasing you down the street. What the fuck? Oh, never mind. Happy New Year, everybody. (laughs) I thought that peyote kicked back in. (laughs) Yeah, it was a good time, though, man. It was all right. You're the rabbit, boys. Mm -hmm. You're the rabbit. Look out. Kip, this is all about freeze pipe, baby. Ripping two. Let's talk about it. You know what I hate? I hate the burning in my throat. I hate the cough, and I hate the wheezing. Mm -hmm. When you ice that baby down, it's smooth sailing. Do yourself a favor. Specially made glass. You pop it in the freezer when you're ready to get down. (laughs) You're ready to boogie. (laughs) You pull it out. (laughs) Woo! 
Woo! Yeah, when you're ready to get lifted. If you're tired of harsh smoke, coughing attacks, chugging water after every rip, <laughs> it's time to upgrade to an icy freeze pipe. What are we freeze talking about here? <laughs> freeze pipe's unique line of freezable glass pieces remove chest and throat burn by cooling smoke by over 300 degrees. There you go. It's the only way I smoke burnies now. <laughs> <laughs> freeze pipes, bubblers, and hand pipes are twice as smooth and half the price of the other guy's bongs. Quality made, though. Beautiful product. The secret is the freezable glycerin chamber that come on every piece. Back in the day, you'd make a little pipe out of some tin foil. Like a dirt smoking bag. Smoking a tin, or now they got uh, g- g- glycerin chambers on them. Not too shabby. Woo, man. Aliens are getting taking all, over. Getting Alzheimer's, huffing on a Coke can. Uh, so for a premium smoking experience at everyday great prices and free shipping, visit thefreezepipe.com. Use the code GARBAGE for 10% off your next order. That's the Freeze Pipe, T-H-E, freezepipe.com. Code GARBAGE, save 10%. Shop today. Your lungs and throat will thank you. Mm-hmm. Now back to that show. Back to the show. This computer is huge. I'm, I'm not used to I don't have my computer today. This thing's like fucking. It's got T-Bone's uh, whack book. Uh, I know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Swears he hasn't used it. Uh huh. Which that's a lie. Uh, for uh, um, pleasure time. Yes, I I haven't. Cell phone, dude. I gotta. It's gotta. There's gotta be a lock on it. Face ID. I believe. I believe him a little bit. I mean, this is company property, technically. The speed on that thing. I mean, the phone's out. pretty quick too. Yeah, it is. Um, I don't do that anymore though. What? I don't watch those videos. Sure. I've been off. Yeah. I get off. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see here. Um, hmm. This one's from Ryan. First time, long time. Has anyone in your family made you slash a relative's tires because they were trying to drive drunk? When I was 12, my uncle had me do a little needlepoint on his girlfriend's golden accord one night. Whoa. Man, that's... Uh... Just take her keys, I dude. know, Jesus Christ. Lock her in the bedroom, something. That's crazy, cause like I all although I do know that argument of like, dude, give me the like trying to get oh, the keys out of yeah. someone's hand. Like, dude, what are you doing? Just fucking, I gotta get home. I uh, get my, I gotta feed the goldfish or whatever. You're like, dude, fucking go to sleep. It's already four. You'll wake up. You'll get up. Go feed the goldfish. Then it ain't that important to get home, gang. No drinking and driving out there. All right, be responsible. There's right? nothing more annoying than a blacked out person. Uh, trying oh, to, I mean, God. I've probably been that guy before for sure. Trying to, you know, but it's like, dude, what are you doing? Call a fucking oobs or something. Back in the day, though, in the '90s, man, I remember seeing like older, older, like you know, friends of the family order, and like, ah, John, no, no, come on, no, 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 and that was it back then. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. it was a very different time. To the point where I remember they started putting up the signs like DUIs are for real. You're like, what are you talking about? Get out of here. <laughs> like, that was like a thing when they were like, you know, they're finally going to start enforcing them. It's like thing. the Easter Bunny back then. <laughs> I know. I remember there was like a huge blizzard or something like that. And the adults all started getting tuned up somewhere. And somebody wanted to drive home. They're like, all right. All right. But it was like two feet of snow. So we literally just were like, <laughs> There was nobody out there. Yeah, I remember still. one of the homies got one in Chicago, and everyone was like, "How? You never hear about that happening in the city." Yeah, I've uh, I've been partaking in a you know a beverage in a car in the city, not here in a in a different city that I used to live in. Schmilla Schmelfia, Schmilla the real Adelf. <laughs> and I got caught Home with a in the car by a cop next to me at a light. And I was like, I'll dump it out. I'm so sorry. Because ah, I'm fucking with you. And just fucking blew a red light. I was like, later, dude. <laughs> Shot your tires out and kept yeah. going. <laughs> Pussy. Gave me fireworks. Told me to be safe. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the city, does, you know, obviously, the you know, cities tend to have bigger issues at hand or whatever. Don't want to deal with all that. Paperwork. I think you could walk around with booze in New York now. No, nobody really give a shit. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Never I- see the heat that much rolling around like they used to. Yeah. Never really see it. I don't know. I'm not on the subway. Subways like I used to be, though. I'm not riding the rails like a fucking goddamn hobo from town to town. There were dirt bags down in the West Village the other night with their souped up cars just fucking <laughs> doing that fucking bullshit. I was like, where the fuck are the cops? Mm-hmm. Get these what are fucking. They gonna, I mean, let's take their cars. <laughs> Slap them around a little bit. They're fucking losers with that shit. Yeah. I can't fucking stand it. Fucking fire. 
fucking dork. It's a Saturday night. What are you doing? It's getting laid, probably. No, they're not. About, He's sitting there with a bunch of other fucking losers uh-huh. in a line, revving their engines. People got work in the morning. Fucking dumb. I hate <laughs> that shit. You're the coolest guy I know. I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Trying to eat over here. <laughs> Somebody started yelling at him. We're like, you're a fucking loser. And he's like, nah, man, that's money. He's fucking screaming back and forth at each other. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I it is annoying, but it's like it's kids. What are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, it's also. I mean, I don't agree. I don't disagree with you. But this, I tell you to get off my lawn if I can afford one. Yeah, you do. You know, you do fall into old man Foley sometimes. Walk around with a beware dog sign on my back. It's always like, you know, you always got someone new you don't like. And it's usually for them not doing it like them. Just, these goddamn bikers or these goddamn pedestrians. Wow. That's you great. You always to- gotta, you're getting older, I can tell, because you always got a bone to pick with getting, somebody. Getting real crotchety. Yeah. <laughs> really. really letting the young generation, you know, yeah. let, let them have it. Yeah. Open them up. Which I don't disagree with. It needs to happen from time to time. Sure. Uh, Ain't my rock and roll. <laughs> Still rock and roll. To you me. love that Harry Styles, though. I love Harry Styles. He's all right. Um, all right. Let's see here. DJ Van Dam. Uh, I believe from La Jolla, if I remember correctly. Ooh. The Van Dam family. Remember ah, them? The wrestlers? Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, shout out to the Van Dam family. Shout out to the Van Diesels. Down there in sunny um, San Diego. What was your go-to underage drinking spot? I assume bar. Let's do bar for the first one. And also, how did you used to procure at a pro- the place you used to procure at a younger age? This is good. This is good. So our setup was um, freshman year of high school. We had uh, our group of guys and a group of girls. All right, there. That was a little friend group. Um, one of the girls whose parents did really well and traveled every weekend. They were gone every fucking weekend. She was a freshman. Her sister was probably 20, 21, would watch her. We would all sleep over at my buddy Eric's house on Friday and Saturday nights and just go over there in the middle of the night. We'd all, like, literally 10 of us mm-hmm. would sneak out like the dirty dozen and fucking go down the street, make the a left. 10, but, yeah. Go over there and, and booze. The sister would hook it up. Mm-hmm. Um. Then when we started to get into the age of fake ID and maybe um, an older relative that we kind of looked like, there was a place in Norristown called, uh, I guess I shouldn't say it. They're still in business, but they've re-upped. It was a place that we used to go. Mm-hmm. It was like a corner bar that had to go beer. Take out. That's a big thing in Pennsylvania. I don't know if yeah, everybody does that. Yeah, I think they have it up here. Uh no not really don't Ta- the most a lot of bars and uh, you know bars in Pennsylvania have takeout where you can go and there's like coolers in the front that have, they're only allowed to sell uh up to twelve packs because Pennsylvania is a Quaker state and that's all it's all those Puritan rules sure the the government the state government sells all the liquor you can't buy oh you can in a few places now they started selling wine and stuff but you can't buy liquor at anywhere but a state. They call them state stores. No, now grocery stores. You, you, yeah, you, but that's still a department of that's still like under the wing of the state, and you're only you're not allowed right. to buy the hard liquor. It's only wine and beers. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I think so they, they they're playing with it in some places or whatever. State store, we but call they're it. yeah, they're called. You go to the state store. They're closed on Sundays. There's one in like the five town radius that's open. So it's like on Sundays, and you also could you used to not be able to buy cases of beer on Sunday. The beer distributors were closed. So Saturday, you would have to fucking get your beers for the Sunday. You know what I mean? Unless you were buy- then unless you'd go, you'd have to buy like fucking 10, 12 packs if you were part. Sure. So if you were getting after it. So that was big. You could always go to like try to get takeout at like a dive bar that didn't really care if you had something. That that was for us to get underage to get some bevies. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Rayanne's Liquors on Montrose and Ashland in Chicago. I was mm-hmm. 20. I went in and The Walking Dead had just come out. And I heard. I walked in. I was a zombie. 
We're a lady killer, huh? And the guy behind the counter was talking to his brother, family owned spot, about the first or second episode. And I just watched it. So I was like, oh, man, that show's so good. We were chatting him up about The Walking Dead. Uh huh. My kids wouldn't shut up while I was yeah. watching it, though. <laughs> so I, I watched every episode of the first to two go seasons. In. So I knew what I could. So I had some conversation to uh-huh. keep it going with. Ah, uh, that. that's pretty smart. That's good. But 20, I mean, you're right there. You're we're right talking there. high school. We had. Uh, where were, you, where, where were you? Where were you scoring in soft, the freshman and sophomore year? My boy had a Michigan ID. Yeah, there you go. Damn, in high school he had a Michigan fake ID. Oh yeah, and then let that fly in North Carolina, in Massachusetts. Ooh, oh that's right. You I'm visiting. I'm, I'm visiting family. I'm staying with my aunt. Just got She's back old. from the Navy. Yeah, we had a uh, we had a place in Somerton that we would drive to about ten minutes from the crib, and it was in August. We needed booze to go down the shore. Because we would procure the booze at home, typically, and then take it down ashore, cross state lines. Real badass guy. And uh, that was always the thing. If you got jammed up by the bridge, you'd be, you know. Sure. Because you're not, you're not allowed. You weren't, back in the day, allowed to cross state lines with it. Mm-mm. The cops would sit there uh, and tr- try to jam you up. That was always the lore. But we would buy it in Summerton, and we sent my boy, uh, Vinny, with the skinny. He was about 15, 16. We were driving. So 16 at the time. He was Italian. He went through puberty at probably about, you know, eight and a half years old, <laughs> full body of chest hair. So it was August. So we sent him in in a wife beater and board shorts to be like, and like just had cash to be like, if they ever asked him for ID, be like, I just ran from the pool or something. There wasn't a pool in the, there wasn't a pool in a 10 mile radius. Like, ah, I just came from the pool. You know, I, oh, I don't have my ID. Just squirting it with a hose so we can go yeah. on a beer run. <laughs> He's got flippers on and goggles. I just came from the pool. Swim lessons. <laughs> Put his, a head, barbecue. put his head in the microwave, give him a little tan. <laughs> he didn't need it. He was olive. Um, so then we had to we had to send them in in a wife beater into like January. You know what I mean? To like keep like, hey, remember me? You know what I mean? It was like that old bit of, from Half Baked. Uh, so he would we would just send them in, and he got cool enough with them that that was the that was the plug for a long time. Head down to Somerton Bay, and then I got an ID. The parents was was not a bad move. If you were smart with it. You could, but you can never get enough. Yeah, I was like, that. You first of all, you, it was too risky. You were rolling the dot. Also, I wouldn't get in trouble if I drank. I would get in trouble for taking their beer more than drinking their beer. Sure. You know, more than underage drinking. They'd be like, you're stealing my beer? You know, it would be that. We, uh, my buddy's dad drank porter. I don't know what that is. A porter. Like oh, a all porter. Okay. Dark beer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Fucking bottles of that out on the back porch, not even refrigerated. Uh, warm beer was. I think it was y- Yingling Porter, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I thought I think it had like seeds in it. It was like drinking a fig Newton. It's <laughs> fucking brutal, dude. Uh-huh. Yeah, but they did, did the trick. Job when you're chasing the dragon back at a young day, you got to do what you got to do. You know sure. what I mean? We used to do night train. What's that? Night train wine. At uh-huh. the, we get at, get that from the state store. I don't know how we were able to, to pull that off, but we did. One bottle of that, you were good. We would just do cases. Uh, we went through a, a bunch of phases. It started with MGD, sure. which we called Liquid Gold. Sure. It then switched to Tell you what, man, High Life. A screaming MGD. It's all right. Wasn't bad. It was great, dude. The MG Bangers, Liquid Gold. Uh, we also did LaBaf. That's Miller Genuine Draft. We would do High Life, and High Life Lights were fucking Hard to come by, but fantastic. High lights are all right. Yeah, but high life lights were good, dude. I don't know if I remember that. Yeah, they were tough. They had it instead of like the red and the yellow, uh-huh. or the red and the gold. It was silver. Uh, and it was right. real fucking. I think we would get ponies of them to begin with. Ponies are all right. Whacking ponies, dude. Whacking ponies. Put down a case of ponies. Not bad. <laughs> um, then Miller Light, Coors Light. Labat Blues, we called Big and Tasties. We do them in a winter. And you remember Molson came out with Molson Triple X. It was like Google that. Molson Triple X dropped. That was in the nineties when they started fucking with that five point oh and all that no, stuff. No, this was like heavy. This is before like IPAs. We you'd have to split a sixer with somebody because you'd end up fighting each other. It was fucking Bad dude, seven point three ABV on a bad. <laughs> yeah, dude, shit. dude, talk about devil's breath. This stuff was like motor oil. It was like, fu- dude, it was <coughs> this shit. I remember we would each get a sixer of it. I think the first time we did, we each got a sixer of it, and I'm talking like we all fist fought in Flip's kitchen. It like, 
Everybody just got black cows. What the fuck's your problem? What's your problem? All over nothing. That's the, one of the reviews is two and a half stars, and it says two and a half. It's got an aggressive mouthfeel. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm telling you. That's like the tonic of beer. That shit bites back, dude. That's hardcore to high school kid. Yeah, yeah, dude. We were barely, you know, we were, you know. I mean, we were drinking a lot, but a lot of Coors Light and shit like that. Then you come in with the fucking heavy bike. A nice wine cooler back in the day was a good transition. Bartles and James. Seagrams Seagrams knew their way around a wine cooler as well. Delicious. Yeah. But and then liquor too. We'd always do like cheap vodka or something, you know what I mean? That was big. I remember drinking aftershock. The yellow the the blue or the red? Uh the blue. Had the candy in the had like shit in it. I don't know. I just remember I just know aftershock from Ireland. That's what they all drink. That's their like uh fireball or something. Yeah, yeah. It has like it has like had like rock candy in the bottom of it or something. There was something in there. Yeah. We would do like, we would do screwdrivers. We would do, we would cram. My buddy had a couch in his garage. His parents like would, you know, kind of look the other way or were oblivious. I don't know. You know, one of those families are like, I don't know what the fuck. They come out, just everybody's drinking out of red cups. We'd be doing screwdrivers of fucking pop off vodka and OJ, Wawa OJ, cranking Marlboro Milds, the blue, like the, the, Sure. Medium menthol. They uh-huh. were all right. They were always buy one, get one, too, at the Exxon. Yeah, they were giving them away. Man, when those would go on BOGO, a text would a text to every dirt bag in Bucks County would go out, and we'd converge upon a gas station just to fucking score free Bernie's. Um, and did I remember I fell through a table, piano. We were listening to Billy Joel. I was cranking heaters and probably about a half a bottle of vodka down in screwdrivers. It's one of those things where the ground comes up to you. You know what I mean? Like, you don't move. You're like, I'm chilling, and then just out of nowhere, dude, this, this fuck, one of those white patio tables did not stand a chance with my fat ass, dude. I fucking boom, right through this fucking thing. Dude, there's nothing better than watching someone lose a fight to gravity. Oh, man. Yeah, dude, there's some reason it just, it's like, man, it's, uh, it's like Inception where, like, the world shifts. It's like that, dude. And it just fucking Buildings start you. folding in on themselves. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> Elliot Page is running around. Yeah, cranking cigs on a dirty couch. Now, the worst. Singing w- piano, man. You knew your buddy was jammed up if they pulled up with a, with a can of Steel Reserve and a pack of checkers. What's checkers? Oh, they were like discount cigs. I'm pretty sure they used the clippings off the floor of the factory to make those things. We didn't have that. We didn't even have uh, 40s and shit, really, until college at Temple. All you would go corner stores, we'd do hurricanes. Fucking get, you know, a hurricane to pregame was like the was, was the stand, status quo. That would twist you up real good. Beer pond with hurricanes. Ugh. Good night. Or something about in the thickness of those, the mouthfeel of a hurricane. Some old E. We never did that really. Loved old E. Get your head on straight. I Ooh. remember Steel Reserves would advertise more gra- ex- now th- new with extra gravity. I'm like, fucking space beers, dude. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, dude. Let's get lifted. Extra gravity. Extra Let's gravity. go. Yeah. I remember sitting in a dorm room with two of them taped to my hand, being like, "What the fuck is extra gravity, dude?" We'll find out in a couple of minutes. <laughs> I'll find find out when I pee myself in twelve minutes. <laughs> uh, I remember we were playing Edward Forty Hands, and the RA knocked on the door, and nobody could open the door because we were fucking. Everybody was all taped up. We're like ah, one minute, man. Probably thought we were jerking off together or something. <laughs> uh, RA right. sucked. What the RA sucked. Yeah, that fucking takes a certain rats. kind of dork to fucking sign up for. I get it, you have to do it if you need the free housing and stuff like that. I, you know, or the credits or whatever. It does. It does benefit people to take the position, but be cool, man. They would pop in. Don't be a fucking narc. They would pop in like when you least expected it with the fucking security guys at at our school. All of a sudden, there'd be like this guy with like a radio in the fucking thing. It's like, do you have a gun on you? <laughs> if not, get the fuck yeah, out of my not, Kick rocks, dude. I'm trying to get laid over here. Um, we would have uh, <laughs> we would have to sneak beer into the. We had it because Temple was obviously you know obviously it's in North Philly, which ain't a great neighborhood. So they had you couldn't just walk in the dorm. You had to slide your card in, and you couldn't just bring people. It was like heavy 
security to get in, mm -hmm. and they would scope you for booze. They would be like, oh, what's in that? But you would hear, like, oh, they're doing bag checks or whatever. It was real fucking, uh, they would get real tight with it. So I had a fucking great plan. I would take a dirty laundry. I would take, like, a, what are they, the hampers? Like, the big sure. rectangle johns, like the hardwood, mm -hmm. the hard plastic ones, and I'd put two 30 racks in there. And then stuff dirty clothes around it and stuff and just carry it in. They're like, what's in there? I'm like, just dirty underwear, man, doing laundry. <laughs> Barely <laughs> lots 400 pounds. Got a keg in there. <laughs> we were getting all tuned up in my dorm, and we got a knock on the door. And I would just gotten caught with a bunch of weed and fireworks the same week. <laughs> Who lights fireworks in college? This guy's a loser. So the aura, they're like, I was like, I cannot get caught. Saying that with guys from Michigan. <laughs> so I went into the bathroom and I pulled everything out from underneath the sink and climbed in underneath the sink and hid while they searched the whole place. Really? Like Anne Frank, dude. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. So my buddy. <laughs> the diary of Toby McMullen. <laughs> Uh, you need. I, I watched from the inside, inside underneath the sink. I watched the drawer get slid open while they while they searched it, and for whatever reason, they didn't look underneath. <laughs> I was shitting bricks, dude. Dude, we uh, we're down in Wildwood, uh, say uh, Flip's house. We're probably about eighteen at this point. We're all just drinking at his house. You know, what I mean, there's like I don't know, seven of us just hanging out, drinking, playing cards, whatever, and. Uh, playing drink games, we get all fucked up. And me and Pat get into a fight. Outside. Like, we're outside smoking cigs, and me and him get into it. Everybody, I think, gets into it. But, like, they call the cop. The neighbor yells out, we're calling the cop. We're, like, fighting in the street. That's We would get drunk and fight each other, not other groups of people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we just get so mad and end up, you know, wrestling or whatever. Tussling. So me and Pat get into it. They're, the cops are there. We're calling the cops. So Vinny with the skinny had a, you know, Two, three, four, five run-ins prior to this, so he was, you know, he's persona non grata with the with the five zero. So he's got to lay low. So we're like fucking. We all run inside, act like you know, we hide the booze, whatever. Like, oh, we're just chilling here. We weren't just fighting outside, you know. And uh, cops never show up, or they might drive by, but nothing happens. And we can't find fucking. An hour goes by. Nobody can find fucking. Nobody can find Skinny. We're looking. Nothing. Not dude. He's. Proper in the garage in a trash can with a bag of trash on his head. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, bitch, I live in a goddamn trash can. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He poor like Vinny. What like now we think he's ran away. He got kid now. We don't know what the fu the fuzz got him. <laughs> dude, he's proper posted up in a trash can for like two hours. <laughs> he got wallpaper on him. He didn't, he didn't <laughs> he's even like kissing the wall. <laughs> He's, he's painted like cinder blocks. Oh, uh, that's great. We got to wrap her up, though, on that. Ah, that was a good one. Gang, we love you to death. Uh-huh. Come see us on the road there. Yeah, a lot of dates. Maybe announced by now. I'm not sure yet. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.